Hey everyone, it's Alice. I just wanted to make this brief intro to say that this is going to be a guest content piece. This is the first one I'm ever uploading to the channel, and I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't someone that I believe to be one of the best in the scene. It's going to be a coaching session with Max and another player. If you don't know who Max is, Max was a challenger North American player that was on 100 Thieves Academy. He also won Scouting Grounds at one point, but he came to Korea in 2018. He lived with me for about two and a half years. He also participated on BBQ, both playing in the scrims and acting as an assistant coach there. He has recently gone back to North America. He's going to be streaming, doing more content and whatnot, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want to follow Max or find out more about him, you can follow him at any of the socials that appear on the screen, as well as in the description below. You can also find him in the coaching community Discord server. I wanted to upload this video to really just highlight that people like him exist. He's one of the best in the entire scene. I don't think Alright, let's take a look at the level 1 again. This is a huge lead already. You you auto his shield into landing Q. This is a massive yeah. lead. So just auto the minions a couple times and now just wait. Um, because he he can't just walk up and hit the creeps right now. So when you auto like this, just stop and now just space your Q on him and try to get him the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, so don't keep autoing like this. This is this is going to fuck you over if you keep autoing. Yeah, yeah this is bad. You don't want to deal damage to this wave. You, oh. you want more interactions. You've already shit on him really hard. You want more interactions to happen. Yeah. So you want the wave to. Oh. You want the wave to stay in like this box in the center. Sure. Wait. Give me a second because. Yeah. No problem. Um. My monitor just died. Okay. 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 Now it's fine. Okay. You can see. Cool. Yeah. So I outed too much because I guess the the idea is to shove the third wave. Yeah. Um. Sort of to shove the third wave. The idea is to win. So when you have such a big advantage, if you fight him more, you're going to win more. If you keep fighting. Yeah. In a lot of cases. Not always. It's not so absolute like that in, in all cases. But here, uh, if you keep fighting Yasuo after you get this really big trade on him, it's going to be beneficial for you. Um, so it doesn't mean you always crash the third wave, but it means you have to make like a conscious decision here. Um, and, and it doesn't look like you're, like you're seeing the exact relationship where if you're going to push the second wave... Um, you're doing it to dodge a jungle gank in most cases, yeah. so you're going to be pushing the second wave really fast. Um, so if oh. if like you get this super sick trade, but okay. you know that you're going to crash the second wave because of like the jungler's possible route, then like you would push this uh -huh. wave quickly and then the next wave quickly while you're trying to trade with them. Um, uh -huh. Or sorry, okay. sorry, I, a little inaccurate. The first wave you push slowly, you slow push this first wave so that you have the best access to the second wave because you, yeah. you don't want the second wave to be yeah. like up here because it's harder to kill the back line. You want the, the second wave to be like in the center as, as much as possible yes. so that you can kill the back line. Uh, also, it makes him walk up the farthest when you're going to be level two so you can get yeah. another really big trade on him. Yeah, I can punish him more yeah. if the wave is closer to the middle. And then on the second wave is when you, like, you can make the decision. And here you have to. You don't even have a choice anymore. You just have to crash the second yeah, wave. Yeah, yeah. So you have to do this as yeah. fast as possible because the more that you stand around here, um, the less good it actually gets. Mm -hmm. Because if you push this right. wave quickly, you can dodge future ganks by... Uh, your, your team pinged that he started blue, for example. Uh, I don't know who the enemy jungler is right now, but it doesn't really matter. You crash this wave, and you just walk into the red side, and you go ward. And you can ward here, you can ward red, you can just ward this entrance yeah. here. There's tons of places you can ward. Uh, they basically all function um, to do the same thing, to, to block ganks and to give information to your mid and top laner. Mm -hmm. um, but you lose time. You lose all these seconds when you don't push this wave quickly. And it's not like you're gaining anything uh, by standing around because it's really hard to get uh, more trades on Yasuo because just watch Yasuo and play yeah. Yasuo in this wave. Play Yasuo in the second wave. So try to, try to put yourself into Yasuo's body right now and think, what are you going to do? I'm, yeah. Nothing. I'm not even gonna walk up. You're not gonna do anything. Anything you do gets you fucked up. So you're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna chill out. So you can do this in the game. This is something that you can do very quickly. You can just look at Yasuo and you can feel everything that he's feeling. Uh, and and mm -hmm. much easier, I think, in the game because in the game you're you're much more. Um, it, it's not like you're you're making these conscious decisions at every moment while you're in game. It's much more that you're feeling things. Um, it's it's hard it's hard to have like a. A full conversation with yourself while you're in the game it's more of like feelings of pushes and pulls um to do certain things yeah, yeah, yeah. so it, it's easy to feel like that yasuo isn't going to do anything he like you you know he's just not going to walk up randomly you see he walks up for this one melee creep and you punish him for that but you'd be able to do that on like any timing basically um you, yeah. you, so we're just wasting time on the second wave this is gonna be bad i have to drink water
You also go TP. I think TP's fine, but... If you... Yeah, I wanted to play with Ignite. Yeah, if... Because I picked this. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, yeah. I, I forgot, actually, to take Ignite. Okay. I forgot to swap it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ignite would be really good here, especially with this level 1 lead. I, you can't, obviously, know, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, if you're taking Aerie to be, like, oppressive in lane, then Ignite would be really good. Great circumstances. This guy's really fucked. Yeah. I think he's just dead. I think he's just dead. Hmm. Maybe if I had Ignite. Yeah, he'll follow the dead ones. Ugh. Yeah. In these moments, you should play really aggressively. This is all execution, so I won't... Mm -hmm. dig into it so hard but in these moments you should be playing really really aggressively because again you want to feel what Yasuo is feeling so right now Yasuo feels a lot of pressure because if you're playing Yasuo right now you know that you have to crash this wave or you're going to yeah. lose a lot it will just constantly mm -hmm. kill all these minions but you also know that when you stand like even if you're standing in this pocket just because you're like past this line you can die to any gank with Syndra it doesn't matter if you're standing mm -hmm. here or like even if you're down here Syndra can pretty easily fucking kill you, even just by yourself. So, it it's really hard for Yasuo to exist in this space right now, but you're really comfortable. No jungler is going to pop out of nowhere and kill you right now, so you just have to measure out exactly what Yasuo can do. So in these moments, you can play really aggressively because you can account for almost everything that's going to happen. Um, you know the distance that set is away from mid lane, so you know how fast you want to take the trade if a gank is necessary. But you can see from this freeze frame right now, a gank is not necessary. This guy looks pretty fucked. If you could take, if you could replay this moment from this freeze frame, you can see that Yasuo is like pretty fucked right now. There's very, there's very few things he can do to get out of the situation without being like completely fucked. Uh, and I think he has ignite as well, which is really bad. I think he has ignite. Most Yasuo's take ignite. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, he has a, yeah he but has he like he like sneaks out of this, and he gets the lane pushing. Um, and uh, I think Seth should have flashed. Now Yasuo does oh, something yeah. cool here um, that you can't do. Oh, I think you do kill him. Um, but Yasuo does something that you yeah. should do here. Yasuo does play it pretty well because when you're in this position and the enemy's freezing on you, mm -hmm. the thing that you have to do is to force a trade with them so that they hit the minions like unintentionally. Oh, so Yasuo yeah. is fighting you in the center of the wave, and this is what he should be doing, because if you want to hit Yasuo and you miss him, even if you miss him to the point where you don't immediately kill him, you will kill a lot of these minions with Cinder's abilities. So what, what might happen oh, is yeah. that if he survives, he can just recall, and then the wave is pushing back into him. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, essentially now it's pushing towards... Yeah, these spots, the trade, right? because you know everything that could happen, you have to play these spots out really precisely. It's really important not to fuck up mm -hmm. these positions because they're so they're so advantageous to you, but it doesn't mean that you can't lose. And here isn't mm -hmm. the best... It's nowhere near like the best possible uh, scenario because your jungler's coming mid, yeah. the wave's frozen, and also there's so many things that could happen here. Um, but because... But I guess it's down to execution. Yes, yes, it's down to execution. execution. So the only thing I can say is that th that is the moment where execution matters so much and you have to recognize it before it really happens. Like, don't... You, you should look at that with a lot of urgency um, instead of just seeing it as, yeah. like, another random moment in lane. That's a that's a very important thing that just happened that might not look so important if you're just sort of watching, if you're just, like, reviewing yourself. Mm hmm Yeah, well... That should have been a cue. Uh back it's good to just keep him in I lane mean, here I, yeah kind of yeah th no, this, is fine. Of this is fine he, he's screwed yeah y you don't have quite enough mana to to mm -hmm. just kill him right now to yeah. just throw all your spells at him and kill him. oh whoa 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 yeah, whoa, 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 whoa 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 okay you, no, can, you kind of freaked out I think you thought you were getting ganked but I, I don't know what, no, no, no. you can kill him I, I guess or you can at least fuck him yeah. up even if you can't kill him even if you can't kill him you can fuck his day up yeah Oh yeah, that's scary. Yeah, I think that was that yeah, guy lives on the edge. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you have to measure out your mana, uh, because you you can use a little bit more mana and use it a little bit more aggressively, but you always have to keep like enough for your three spells. Uh, in some spots, you can keep just enough for two spells, but norm typically, if you only have one spell, you're not gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it feels like you're scared. I, I'm seeing that you're afraid. Like, look at him. If you could play, like, from this moment, what do you think he's doing? 
Like, are you really going for this 14 gold? Why are you why are you walking in this direction? Are you going for this? What are you doing? I'm gonna walk up and just meet you with Q. Like, what could Yasuo do to you right now? Hello? Hello? Oh, did you lag out? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. You can hear me again? Oh, what's the last thing you heard, if you can remember? <laughs> um, you were talking about uh, the trade, yeah. Mm. I mean, uh, when I was too scared or something. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I was seeing that you're afraid. Okay, so he's walking forward right now. What do you think he's walking forward for? Yeah. yeah do you, like, do you good. really want this 14 gold? Are, are you like, are you gonna go for this cannon? What are you doing? I'm just gonna, I'm just, every time you do this, I'm gonna walk up and match you with Q. Yeah. What the fuck is this? That's pretty random. Plus, he doesn't know what yeah. that is. I but guess. it looks like you're like afraid or like you don't know, or you're not, yeah. you're not thinking about all the possible places that he could be because you could just walk up and Q and then even if he E's there, there's like, there's plays you can do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh no. Oh, this yes. is not. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my okay. That's terrible. Easy clap mid-gap. Yeah. Yes, please help me push. Yeah. I need help there. Yeah, so I guess it turned out right, but I should have been able to... Yeah, it turns out right, but... Stuff. Okay, having it turn out right means almost nothing. Yeah. Because Yasuo can fall on his face and do the worst thing possible and get himself killed, but it doesn't mean anything about what you did. Uh, yeah, because you, yeah. you can identify good and bad plays regardless of the opponent. Mm -hmm. I don't think the boots are good by here. I think boots are good. I don't think the ward is good. Oh. Or you if you go ward, five. just one potion. I think uh, po potion's fine. Oh, you have TP, so it doesn't really matter. I think bo boots are really good, though. I think boots are good. You only had 1,200 gold, right? You couldn't buy lost chapter? I think boots are fine. Yeah, but if I'm too reckless with my mana, then I have to back, I guess. You can get blue buff as well. Yeah. You'll get blue buff in a minute. I don't think boots are bad. Well, I don't know. I Will you get blue buff in a minute? Two minutes. No, it's in two minutes. It's in two? Oh, okay. I mean, there's, there's an argument like trade heavily and even if I lose mana then I can TP back. Yeah, you have TP, so I, I don't think you necessarily need mana here or potions, but uh, Boots gives you a lot of kill, kill potential against him. Yeah. Um, oh, this... I mean, should have been IQ for sure, but... What happened here? Why did it push so quick? Oh, it was under turret. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. This looks so sloppy. Yeah, it is. This is sloppy. Super sloppy. Yeah. Super sloppy. It doesn't feel like you have a like a, a grip over him. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, it, it looks like you you're re. Oh my goodness. It looks like you're reacting to him. So bad. So bad. Like I see my mouse clicks and it's terrible. Yeah, and I even if yeah. I okay, 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 okay. So yeah, we can look at clicks because I, I'm I'm telling you the things that that I'm I'm trying to play as your character and like I'm following along in like the motions and it looks like the Yasuo is moving so fast when I'm trying to play as you're playing right now. Like, how do you ever hit Yasuo? Mm -hmm. This character just t teleports around the fucking lane. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he doesn't. So, oh, like, your camera should be centered right now. And like the moment he yeah. jumps on you, there's a cue that you can get like really consistently on him. And then when you move away from your cue so that he has to walk into you, now there's a stun that you can get. And after you get the stun, there's a there's like an auto W Q and then obviously an R if, if he wind walls anything. Uh, but he probably doesn't wind wall anything. Now he wind walls something. I see a kill. Yeah. But you walk too far away. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like I didn't account for the straight. Yeah. Like I didn't yeah, know what uh, what could happen, so I wasn't kind of ready for the. Yeah. For this. Yeah, it looked like you just weren't thinking about the things that he can do. Um, yeah. I was more like, I want to shove this, shove this, and go to do something. No, no, no. Okay, okay. You have you have boots too. Okay, you have boots too. This guy has Doran's boots. Okay, so I don't care what character he's playing. When you walk into lane, you're thinking, kill this guy, fucking yeah, yeah. murder him. <laughs> like, 
don't ignore your your wave or something. Like your wave is slow pushing. But if this guy ever walks up for a last hit, so the the idea with with when your wave is slow pushing, you'll probably just crash the wave because you have to last hit. Like let's say these like spikes are like you when you have to last hit, you're like responsibility for last hitting. You have to last hit like way more often than he has to last hit. Okay, yellow is him. You know, you have to last hit way more. So most of the time, it's like there's not a super good trade opportunity unless my opponent like really fucks up or unless, um, unless when he has to last hit, I don't have to last hit. But most of the time, what happens is that he just doesn't do it. So he just doesn't get this last hit uh, because you have the bigger wave and you're probably higher level and you're probably in the lead. Yeah. Uh, probably in this case, you are. Uh, so he's yeah. just not going he for just... these. Yeah, he can just give up these two minions, you know, and then do this, do a similar thing to you. Um, but if you're far ahead, maybe it doesn't happen like that. And this is how CS leads can. This is a way CS leads can happen. Uh, but yeah. on these minion timings, you should be playing super aggressive. So when he has to walk up for this minion, this is this is that this is that yellow spike here. You should walk up like you you should just be in his face. And then if he wants to e through this minion, of course, absolutely, we're taking that trade. Uh, like then it's just a question of can the jungler be ganking me right now? Uh, and you could have already warded at this point. You could have already warded. Right now you can ward. Yeah. So you can already ward right side or ward left side on set side if you want to go help him fight for crab. If you want to go help set fight for crab, you can ward left side, stand on left side, and take all of these trades from there. And the only place Nidalee could gank you was like right here. Yeah. On raptors. Which you can play around with minions. And you have boots too, so it's really hard for her to just land a spear on you if you're constantly moving. So yeah, all of this stuff comes before execution. So you can still play this trade really fucking bad, but I guarantee you, if you have like left side warded and you're standing on left side, and when hit when your minion gets low, you walk forward with the intention to trade. Even if you play the trade super fucking bad, like you do here, it will go better. It will be better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So just anticipation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planning, um, thinking about. Yeah. Thinking about all these events before they actually happen, uh, and it will also slow down Yasuo. It will it will slow down Yasuo. Yasuo won't feel like yeah. the fastest man in the fucking world, um, teleporting in the lane, <laughs> dancing through all the minions. Um, if you're constantly thinking about when is he going to trade, when do I want to trade is is a big one. When do I want to trade, and then how is he going to react, or like what is he going to do in response? Then every E that he does won't feel like it's immediate. It'll feel like it's a uh, it, it'll feel like it's a measured thing. Um, and you'll be able to see that he's going for an yeah. E because you're watching him the entire time. And then yeah. when the E lands, you'll be able to actually hit a spell on him. Oh, this is. I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking. Actually, I'm not yeah, looking. I, I, it never happened. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 look, <laughs> I'm not looking. But actually, I don't think I was like the this game. I wasn't looking at his character at all. Like I was looking around his character, so I didn't yeah. actually know. Where he's moving, you yep, know? Yep. So it was very hard for me to predict what he's doing. Yeah, that's another one. Your eyes have to be right on top of Yasuo. Yeah, yeah which also me yeah. which means so how you get your eyes on Yasuo is that you have to take care of all this other stuff. Because if you're if if you're yeah. constantly checking, like if you have to constantly check where Nidalee is, or if you just don't know, or if you don't have any wards and you're thinking about warding, but then you're thinking about like your last yeah. hitting and where you're standing in the lane and you're constantly going through all these things, you don't have any time to think about Yasuo or like look at him. So you have to yeah. you have to decide all this stuff sort of like moments beforehand so that you can just focus on Yasuo or you have to practice yeah. it enough to get to the point where you just don't think about it where I can, uh... it just doesn't occur to you that like you stand in this correct pocket with this ward um, and then you walk mm -hmm. forward on these minion timings it's just something that you do and then when Yasuo yeah, appears in the lane, yeah. you don't know what Yasuo is going to do, so you have to watch him. So everybody watches their opponent, yeah. because he can do anything he wants. But these other decisions are like, well, this is this is what I've decided like in a vacuum is like one of the best things for me to do. So I'm just going to keep running it over and over until I can just do it without thinking. And then I'll look at my yeah. opponent and try to execute well, but I mean, that's what I have to focus on, or else I'm never going to so, be able to kill him. Would you say it's the best for me now to like focus on... Um... Like getting this stuff, like tracking the jungler and um, playing the right pockets, like automatize, au automatize. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like, it has more importance. Make it so it's subconscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then focus on the like more uh, trading and yes, like looking at an opponent actually. And because your execution sucks. So like, how do you yeah. fix your execution? Well, you have to focus really hard on it, but you can't like just focus on like your execution. Yeah. You'll you'll die all the time. So, that, so you sort of have to do these other yeah. things first so that you're able to focus on execution. 
so sloppy. Yeah, again, uh, I I agree. It it feels like you're watching. Um, it feels like you're watching yourself. Like this click is really bad. There's like no, yeah. there's no reason to like just there's no reason. just wiggle here, and then when he walks up for this, just fuck his day up. Yeah. And yeah, it's like you're it's you're late to the yeah, party. Should have been a punish. Yeah. And again, you have really good circumstances. It's just, it's not coming together because it looks like you're you're just slow to everything. He's just dead. He's just dead. He's just dead. Yeah, He's I so insane. Listen. You're playing against a freak. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, who would, <laughs> who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, here's a... He's a sicko. <laughs> He's a sicko for sure. <laughs> he is sick. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, cool. Recall lost chapter. Yes. And I guess nothing. Sucks. Yeah. Huge recall. Yeah, maybe uh Health pop, but oh yeah, refillable. I mean, yeah, yeah, refillable. Yeah. Maybe it would have been good. Yeah, refillable is really good. It's really gold efficient. Yeah. It it basically just gives you like mistakes. You can get poked by Yasuo, yeah. it just doesn't matter. Yeah. That's true. And it doesn't really cost anything. Like the HP that you mm -hmm. keep getting, it really outweighs. So you can sell it for sixty and it costs one fifty. But every time you recall you like you keep getting it. So you only have to recall yeah. once, and it's like, well, I use two potions, but this only ever costs 90 gold, and I'm going to sell it for 60. Oh, man. This guy's just, what he's just he trying doing? to die. He's trying to find out all the ways you can kill him. <laughs> okay, maybe this game, like, maybe this game's over now. He's just trying to show me how bad I am. Yeah, 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 we'll go to the next game. This one's a disaster. I hope the whole game isn't. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. What's wrong with my PC? It keep my monitor keeps on dying for some reason. Okay, like right, blacking pause. out. But no, it's okay. Okay, it's okay now. Okay, okay. Oh, so yeah, I'm standing too close to minions. Okay, now it's it's a bad trade for LeBlanc, I guess. Oh, you just started lane by queuing her. Fantastic. Oh, oh, if you hit her with that, it would have actually been GG. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. I okay, you should have queued. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 so the way you think about this is, even if I miss the Q, she out of it? Yeah. so just throw the Q. Just throw it. Right now? Just throw it. Like, because the way that this trade is go is already like decided to happen is that even if you throw this Q right now, it's not like she's going to have her W back by the time you have her next Q. So just throw the Q because you're going to get two of them. Yeah. But if you hold it forever and then you miss it, it's a yeah. disaster. You get no Qs. Just take your two chances. But see, it's like, ah! My fucking god, this is so bad. Like, the clicks, I can't watch it. I can't watch myself either, even though. Yeah, man. Ah! Even though I, like, I, I, I really obsess over this stuff, too. I really try to get, like, all these clicks really good. I can't watch myself play. I'm mean, so fucking bad. Yeah. And she shouldn't have This is good, yeah. Uh, she shouldn't push this fast. Actually, yeah, but she's still low HP to actually crush the wave. If I play correctly, this... Yeah, so, she yeah, so she, so because she's taking so much damage, she needs a bigger wave. She can't just, like, try to push yeah. this. Or she can try to push right now, but that's not good. Because if she just crashes right now, she's not gonna do anything. It's not like she can just recall. You're just gonna crash yeah. a bigger wave onto her, yeah. and then she can't recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Oh man. Oh. Okay. And if you extend it, it's really good. Do you think too. I should. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you... freezing. Is freezing good here? I, think I don't I... think it's very good with Zack, unless you think you can solo kill her. Again, you have TP. You don't, ha you don't have Ignite. Um, so it's pretty hard to solo kill her here. 
Um, let me look at it again then. Because the HPs were a really different bunch of stuff actually happened. I have to play the characters to see. Like, um, I think it's better to freeze, yeah. Uh, it depends on the enemy jungle now. Um, I played this from LeBlanc's point of view, and it felt like if the lane was coming back into me right now, I would feel like I could get level 3 and then gank Syndra pretty easily. Um, but if the lane is stuck like this, I think Syndra's going to be able to get a recall. And really after this, now I feel fucking trapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from LeBlanc's perspective, this is fucked. I want to open. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, okay, Here, here's, here's something that I, do, that I do end up doing, even though I hate watching myself play, is I'll watch my opponent play, and I'll try to play as them to understand more about, like, why certain things happen, maybe the way, uh, maybe in ways that I didn't expect. Um, mm -hmm. So sometimes, you, it, it, watching your opponent is really interesting, because you can also tell pretty quickly if they're an idiot, um, uh -huh. and it can still be useful. So, this is Blanc's pretty fucking dumb. I don't know why she's just randomly jumping into you in this wave. It makes no sense. Yeah. Um, what it could mean is that Echo is right here. Um, but it doesn't matter. It, it actually mm -hmm. just doesn't matter here. You just leave the wave. Echo breaks. Out. This, this is shitty. Um, you don't actually have to stay. I think you could have just TP'd unless you want to fight for Crab. Um, Syndra's really good at this, but... No, I'm... Disaster. I'm... Disaster. <laughs> it's a disaster. No, this is a... Yeah, I should have... Come back. I base and just uh, probably, or maybe even I don't have. I lose many minions, but I think my uh, thought process was like try to get a good trade and then maybe recall, but and TP back. But I don't think her HP um, is tied. To try to achieve anything. I guess. Oh, she had TP. Oh, she has TP. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, she, yeah, let me watch. she used TP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought she was Ignite. But yeah, we just saw her use TP. Let me think about this again. Yeah, because it's all different. When you have TP and Ignite, you, you play the lanes out really different. Um, so yeah, right here she actually doesn't want to open because she has TP, not Ignite. So she's sort of okay with this because the wave's coming towards her. All she has to do is TP before the wave crashes and she feels actually okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if she has Ignite, she wants to open, because you're going to crash the wave. It's over. Um, yeah, but yeah. she TPs. Okay. This is pretty good for you, though. This is pretty good. She fucks up pretty bad. Yeah, just recall. No, just, just, recall. just recall. Yeah, just recall. Sure. Yeah, yeah, just recall. Recall, Dark Seal, Ward, TP, either on your turret, or on the mini wave as it's entering. Yeah, I think I... Actually, but um, Ampton, do you think it's oh, okay? We don't see it. We don't see. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, why, but... after this DTP. I mean, what's the uh, you wait difference so between Ampton and Dark Seal? Like Dark Seal is you want to lane more, right? Dark Seal gives you effective HP because it makes your potions twenty five percent better. Yeah. I think the corrupting potion in total is three hundred and seventy five HP. And Dark Seal gives you 25% more, so 10% of 375 is 37. Yeah, but uh, it gives you like 100 more HP, ish. Yeah. Not quite but 100. If you buy a yeah, but if you buy a Dark Seal, let's say you might uh, not have enough money in the next recall to get the um, like Lost Chapter. What is it called? Yeah, Lost Chapter. Yeah, that's the trade-off. Uh, the idea is that you would make more money with the Dark Seal. Hopefully, you make more money with the Dark Seal because you get a lot more mana. You get um, I want to say like 150 more mana. Uh, and about 100 more HP, and 15 AP. Um, so that your ability to make money goes up in the early game. Um, not always, like, on average, your ability to make money because you have more effective stats uh, goes up, so that it wouldn't really matter, because it's an early game item, so you get better opportunity to kill your opponent, and better opportunity to make more money, because you have more abilities. Um, that doesn't mean it's always good. Sometimes um, you, you would just skip the early game items. Um, if you're like, for example, if you're really fucking ahead, you don't really care about this like extra hundred mana or HP, um, mm -hmm. because you can just play normally. Yeah, but in a spot like this, Dark Seal is very good. Dark Seal right now is very good because now like the inflated base stats that you have help you a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I think I killed her. Yes, you have to slow this wave down and trade with her. Yeah. Oh no, that's bad. Don't pull your W like this. Play LeBlanc, she's not gonna... Never mind. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you, you you're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, yes, yes, the W is bad because, like, just play LeBlanc from this point, you're just not gonna walk up. You're just gonna wait until she has to throw the W, and then you're gonna play against her mana. But this guy's just, I don't know, he has to go in. He goes the cannon! It's the fucking cannon minions! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. But this, this was good circumstances again, the wave's coming towards you, uh, you, you gave your, the enemy laner some mind worm that made him dash forward into the cannon. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Push, push, it, push. What? Did you see Echo? No, I... Um, but I don't have enough mana, I think, to... I think you do. All the way. Is Q 60 was, mana? Yeah. yeah. 65. No, si yeah, 60, 60, sorry. Uh, 60. So... Um, I don't think I would make it. Okay. I think we can't yeah, yeah. So this is a different. Uh, this is like a, this is like a whole line of thought. So you have to ask yourself first if you, if you can push, it's always push. If you if you can actually crash the wave, it is push. Uh, if it if you can't crash the wave, what you have to do is kill enough minions so that this wave doesn't crash. Um, yeah. After it kills this wave, it has to like sit here. So you have to sort of measure out how many minions you're going to kill. Um, but you don't want to kill so much that uh, missing the cannon is really fucking bad. Um, yeah, yeah, of course it's bad. Yeah. Happens to all of us. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's good. I think the link is good now. Because it's going to push. Maybe not too, too fast, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, see, it's, it's, it's not quite right. It's, it's always yeah, going to be a balance, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can make, like, a, a decent decision, but there's always going to be, like, the, the, the really sweet spot where, like, the caster minions that you had died uh, and it moved forward a little bit. But the, the, it's the right idea, yeah. There's just a... You have to always... I, I don't even know exactly, like, how many minions you would have to kill, but I, I just I get a feeling. There's, like, yeah, a... Yeah, it's just a feeling. Yeah, yeah. Like we... I, I think it's better as a feeling. Or more useful to you as a feeling yeah, than like I a, think, a, a I think the measure. more you do with them, more you can. Yeah, yeah, you get a better feeling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now. Uh, do we know what's going on? I don't know why you warded river. You shouldn't ward river. Just ward the enemy camps. Mm -hmm. It's like, this doesn't do anything for you. You want to figure out what's going on in the map right now. You want to find out. You want to get any information on where Echo is, because ideally, I think you would like to play aggressively against LeBlanc right now. Um, at least, like, on your W and E timings. Yeah. Especially while the wave, if the wave ends up coming towards you. But... Um, no, you kind of need it. Yeah, if you don't know where Echo is, this next wave is really hard. This next wave is going to be just you pushing if you don't know where Echo is. Like, right now, you should just push. Just crash. Just crash. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Just crash. Oh my god, that was death. He's mid. Yep, there he is. That, that chain was death. Yeah. Fuck. Or it was your flash. Yeah, so if you, if you ward his bot side camps, you'll probably see that they aren't up. Um, you could hug that side. I think this is too far. Oh, okay. I, you I you see, see Echo, but this now it's this wave. Now this wave is just pushing. Just crash. Just fuck the wave. Just blow it up, yeah. run. And then you can either run top if you think there's going to be a fight and you can actually go to it with your mana. But if you can't go to it with your mana, just recall Lost Chapter. Use all of your mana. Who gives a fuck? If you can blow up the wave, so auto the wave until you can use your spells to kill everything at once. Once you can, yeah. once you can kill it all, then just use everything. Dump it. Yeah, there's no reason to like wait around with like your W and your E. If you could just kill the whole wave at once, Lulong isn't gonna magically kill you. I don't know okay, okay, but I think it's it might be because you wanted to roam. Yeah, I kind of was told what was happening. So yeah, I wanted to roam. I remember this. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. You... I really didn't want to flash, but don't flash. Yeah, don't flash. Oh. don't flash. Don't flash. Don't flash. You have, you have it under control. No, 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 no. <laughs> the the colors is oh just gonna. Goodness. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, she would have had it. Uh, if that's cannon wave, you should actually walk to it. Yeah, I think you should walk to it. Oh. Yeah, you should walk to it just to pick up the cannon. I don't know. Even if you recall shit, it's it's like you're not going to get, or. The, the recall that LeBlanc is going to take isn't going to miss her a cannon. Um, so even if you're like on a shitty recall timer, she also has no mana. You'll probably get like a pretty similar recall timing if you just go pick up the cannon right now. Or even, you would, you would even have lost chapter if you just go pick up the cannon right now. Uh, and then you could just recall in the next wave and you lose less. Um, or you just like see what she does. It's not like you guys can push the wave really quickly. You both had no mana. But now, like see, your punish isn't going to be as good. You, you can't deny her a cannon. You don't have a cannon to deny her. And she could even stay for this wave. What if she just stays? There we go. I think it's okay. Because I get to roam. Um, oh, shit. You do get to roam, but you probably would have gotten to roam anyway. Mm -hmm. But you also don't... like. You get to roam, but the roam itself isn't what you want. Like, you want to roam timing. And the roam timing should exist, like, beforehand. So... This is, hard. This is another timeline thing. Need to think about it for a second to make sure. Fuck it up. Okay. So if you don't recall I mean, now... I could have bought uh, the lost chapter. Oh, you could have? If you just waited? Yeah, but, but I... I mean, I could have instead of uh, Sork Shoes. Oh yeah, you want both though. Yeah, of course you want both. Uh, but here, if you if you go back mid right now, okay, here we go. If you go back mid, can you push yeah, LeBlanc in? Yeah, you can push LeBlanc in. You're level eight. You'll get the cannon. You you probably won't have to use Q. It won't be a strong push, and she'll stay for the wave. But you'll be able to recall first, and then you'll be back first, and then you'll push her in again. Yeah, but can't echo gun my lane because he's just respawned and he's um, to both sides since he was top sideways. He won't be able to gank you on this wave. I mean, uh, on the next wave. So echo's still dead. Like the only way he can gank you is if he like routes straight mid, and I don't think he'll kill you, as if you have enough mana for E. Uh, yeah, this is a question of how many spells do you have? Your Q is like seventy-five. You just need to keep uh, enough mana for Q and E, and then you would use it right as. You have enough mana. Yeah. Um, because yeah. LeBlanc has to chain you, and I don't even think she can chain you. Like, she can't W chain. They don't really have setup. Flashing here is really bad, too. This kind of messes with your time. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think you would still get a roam timing, um, but that's not, like, the, the, the thing you're really after, because you could have a lot of roam timings and have them all be useless. Um, but, like, good roam timings are roam timings with setup. So, like, a different question would be... Um, how would I play out the next minute knowing that the bot wave is pushing towards my bot lane and they're easy to gank so that a roam would actually yeah. be good? Um, then it might be that you have to recall now because your opportunity to get a good push on LeBlanc is only for a few seconds. Um, mm -hmm. Because if, if you stay with your no mana and her no mana and you recall, you don't have a very strong push and your timing to roam is very short. Because even if you push LeBlanc in, crash the wave with your red buff and then recall, she would just eat that wave and then recall and be like 10 seconds-ish behind you. So yeah. you, would, you would come back to lane, use a lot of your mana to push the next wave, and then attempt to roam, but LeBlanc isn't that far behind you, so you really only have yeah. like that one route uh, to go roam. Uh, yeah. So, so I guess um, it could be fine recalling early, like not taking the cannon, but I didn't even look at bot lane. Yeah, it's a, it, there's, there's a trade-off and there's a relationship. Um, that's that you would be able to like identify and investigate if you were aware of it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, both of these options are good. Yeah, but they're good in different spots, and like we don't even know what kind of spot this is in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So all the, that's why you like the. Oh Jesus! Oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh my fucking goodness! 
<laughs> okay. That's why it's really important to get a lot of this execution stuff down to the point where you don't really have to think about it. Because while we're looking at this game, there's so much that like we would have to consciously think about. And it's like if we have to think about like the minions and CSing and pushing and like basic stuff, like e even like mana, um, like how how can we like observe everything and make like proper decisions in the moment? It feels impossible. Uh, but for a lot of players, they just don't think about all of these things like in between the lines, um, like of just of just playing Syndra really that you're doing. Uh, and if you don't have to think about this stuff, then it's like well you're free to think about anything. So it's not so much of a challenge to look bot lane and have that decide like your next 90 seconds um, based on like LeBlanc having no mana. Yeah, just push. It sucks that you use your mana though. Yeah. Or she didn't survive. But it fucked my wave. Because the minions uh, like aggro from mm. the blank and my next wave died at the Oh wait, so did you move him? Did you move his teleport? My chat just said you moved his teleport with your W. Oh no. You didn't? She always no, TPs I on like... the same spot? Yes. Okay. But it disappears. Like the first time I did it I was like, what? Uh, Does it actually work? But yeah, because it made it disappear. But I think she she, yeah. she must TP here, right? She must appear here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and you got her. That looks super fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fortunately, I knew. But I guess someone who never had that interaction might have thought that maybe she actually disappears. Like the TP. Oh, I. Okay. Wow. Um, again, so this, the stuff that I'm telling you right now. Uh, as, like really quick, uh, the stuff that I'm telling you right now, it will, for example, the stuff that you have to do to climb from like master to grandmaster and grandmaster to challenger will require more change in like the way you play the game and the way you think about it and the way you behave yeah. than like diamond all of diamond to like master for example or all of like yeah. platinum to master. Like these are way bigger changes um, because like the 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 asks are bigger because everybody's doing more similar things. So it's like what I'm asking for you to do is to not think, not have to think about lots of laning stuff, so that you can decide um, like on plans for like 90 seconds in the future, yeah. um, based on variables that have already happened into the game. Because the game is like more stable, so these big ideas matter much more. But to like get to these big ideas, you have to be doing so many things consistently well. So you have to yeah. practice them all the time, so that you don't even have to think about them. You can just do them, so that you can work out these fucking word problems in your head while you're just playing the game perfectly. Um, yeah, so it's it's much harder, and it'll take a long time. Yeah, yeah. this is essentially what Nemesis told me in this session. Like you have to. Think, don't think about this at all, like all this laning stuff, like movement, that's what you told me, and you have to think about the bigger picture, like how do I set up a kill or something like this, because I guess this is what uh, your conscious mind should be doing. Yeah, yeah, you have to consciously think about this stuff. You you have to get laning to where you don't even think about it. You can just you can just hold a conversation. Try to hold a conversation and play laning as well as you normally can. And you'll do it and you'll think, you, I, I, of course I can't. Like I have to make all these decisions, but you have to get it to a point where it's just you, where you're, where it's just you doing it, uh, and then your conscious mind can figure out how to win the game um, at the same time. Because mm -hmm. yeah. if all you can do is win lane, you won't be able to prevent the game from being lost. Clicks are destroying me. I can't look. I just... Uh, we might click off of this one pretty soon. First, like twelve minutes is what I normally look at for this stuff, but we'll go a little bit farther. See if there's anything else cool that happens. Um, yeah, that 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 recall thing with no matter was really cool. That's a really you, uh, that's a really good moment for coaching. Like, should I recall there? Because there's obvious advantages to both. Um, and, like, how you make the decision is very important. That's a whole, that's a whole like, branching concept. Lots of yeah. ins and outs to it.
I'm not sure whether I. Whoa, was there a blast cone? No, there wasn't a mm. blast cone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no blast cone. That was risky. Uh. Yeah, that was bad. No, I think it was fine. I don't think you have to. Uh. So it's different in solo queue because you don't know what's going to happen on the rest of the map. It, it's pretty fine in, in, a, uh, in a pretty stable game because everybody knows what, what's going to happen on the other side of the map and you're just, you do win something bot there. They have to back up from the wave. Um, yeah. I think you should have warded. There was a lot of hesitation, which is probably the biggest issue is that you're, like, you're not sure. Like while you're roaming, you're not sure exactly what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. So you're not like you're not exactly going to dive them, and you're not exactly looking for echo, and you're not like exactly like routing already there. Like not having blast cone there really sucks. But um, uh, it didn't end so bad. I think you kill her. Jesus Christ. She is crazy. All these players are crazy. Oh, yeah. Talking about big ideas. Oh, shit. What? It's just bad quality. It's, it's VODs. Do VODs, like... Why can't you do VODs? Yeah, I love VODs. We've already gone through three VODs, right? There's this number two. If this is number two, we gotta go to the next one. Alright, we gotta yeah. go to the next one. Number two. I need to think more about the Rome thing. That's also very hard to describe, like the Rome thing there. Um, but we don't have time. I have to just keep moving. Yeah. For solo queue, just try to dive them. Dive? Yeah, just dive them. In solo queue, just dive them. Um, or at least l go farther than you did. There was a lot of hesitation. Um, mm -hmm. Don't care so much. Oh, you mean the situation from the previous? Game? Yeah, yeah. When you're when you're roaming there, um, there's a lot of stuff I I okay. could like explain about it, but don't care so much. If you're if you're roaming because you got a sick push and you're ahead on timing, just go crazy. Just try to kill them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, like no. The worst thing that could happen is Echo appears, and I think you could even kill Echo there. Uh, okay, but what was the next one? Because we need to get at least one more VOD in. We need to do at least three VODs. Yeah. Because that one took like 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. It is a disaster. Okay, check how much you're automating again. Don't auto so much. The other, lanes, the other two lanes started really good for you, though. You got a free Q on LeBlanc, and you got like a really sick auto Q on Yasuo. But Aurelia's against range camps always start E, or a lot of times they start E. And they play like really, really safe level one. Oh, this really sorry, Q. Oh, you could fuck her up now. You could kind of fuck her up on this minion. Fuck her up on that minion. No, what are you doing? No, 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 I should. Yeah, fuck a day up. Okay, again, this is a this is a clicking thing. It's, it's sort of maybe your eyes, but it's probably more of a clicking thing. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no reason to click here. What's going on? Just click in this direction. Click in this direction. Like just just keep in range of this minion so that you can hit her when she's like. A little bit farther up than this, but also when she's here, and she can't hit you in either of these spots. Uh, yeah, clicking back really far. Again, if you play Aurelia and you see the Cinder walk back this far, you're going straight to this minion and then back. She actually waits too long. She lets you get back into range, and you still like just barely trade with her. Uh, I think Aurelia's playing really, really bad. Aurelia's trolling. Aurelia's trolling. Don't click back! Okay, she only has 200 range. She only has 200 range, okay? Do you think she can't hit you? Okay, click back very slightly. And then click her again. Okay, but you have to do it really fast. This is why your mouse has to be so precise. Yeah. Because you see, you do it a little bit too long and she just sneaks out. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is what the crabs do. The crabs don't let you out. Okay, if you were a crab right now, she would not have gotten out. You just want to keep her in the, the box. Yeah. In your range. In the circle, I guess. Keep her in the circle. Jeez. It's not worth it. 
Yeah, that's a lot of mana for not a lot of damage. Yeah, plus I could have punished her. Ugh, I don't like this. It, can you not fight her if she hits level 3 in this wave? Uh, maybe she does kill you. Fuck. Ah, I don't like it. Not having E here. Wait. Not having E here is really bad. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, that, that either on level 2 is terrible. Oh no. And you put a second point into Q. Oh, get out. It's bad. It's bad. Get out of the lane. Yeah. I think. So to get out of this lane, you have to crash a wave. Because um, yeah. you have Ignite. You have to crash, basically. Oh, she fucked up! She fucked up! Get her! Yeah. Fuck her day up. Okay. Nice. Got mana flow. No! She doesn't have Q. Why are we clicking back? Where are we going? What's that? Are we... There's nothing. There's nothing she can do. It, okay. No, I think she had it here. She had it soon, but you have to get feelings for like these cooldowns. Cause look at when she fucks it up. Even I think her Q is eight seconds. I don't think I was. I wasn't sure whether she used Q or. Oh, it's like, twelve. She, oh, it's uh, oh wow, it's eight. Or not. It's kind of long. Yeah, twelve seconds. Yeah, no, she didn't get the reset, because she queued the... Oh, you weren't sure, you mean? Right here? Yeah, yeah. She just queued at, like, 316? Or 314? I think 316. Yeah, she's spamming it. See, I was feeling 8, but even I knew, like, at that moment, there's no way she had it, and I was even feeling 8 seconds. So, like, again, it's it's not like a science, like, exactly 12 seconds when you see a really mess up Q. It can be, but it, for, it there's too many characters. It's most of the time just going to be feelings until we get, like, really, really fucking good. Where, like, there are players that exist that know all these cooldowns, um, like, very quickly. And can just, can feel it so precisely and tell you um, that, like, it's 12 seconds. So, she can't do it right now. This is good. Don't try to crash on this wave, try to crash on the next wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was still pushing, I think. Oh, oh. It's fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. You should speed it up. Uh, this is too fast, I think. Oh, no. If you try to recall oh, on this I... wave. No. Get both waves. I don't think it crashes, no? It does crash, but yeah. you could get both waves. But, yeah. You're going to miss some of these creeps. So you wouldn't miss any creeps. If you go for the next wave, you'll get the next wave, and then you won't miss any creeps, but I think you're going to miss the three melees here. You'll probably miss three melees. Yeah, three melees. Oh, you missed a caster too? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Uh, you missed, yeah, one caster and three melees. Yeah. Um... Oh no, it was after cannon, so there wasn't a cannon recall. Yeah, there was no cannon recall. It was just a better recall after, after first wave after cannon. Okay. Shit, was this pushing in? Before you did this? Oh, yeah, this was pushing in before you did this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just... think it was still pushing after. Yeah, after this wave. But just let all the just let as many minions in this wave die as possible, uh, because right now you're fighting against the level six timing. You're trying to kill her at level six. You would like to. This is one ideal, is that you kill her at level six. So a big thing here is deny the cannon. It's good that you stand behind the wave here because you need to deny the XP for the cannon, so that even if the wave is pushing into you, you hit six before her. That's a huge advantage that you should try to go for a mid a lot. If you can have the wave so that it's pushing towards you, but you hit level six first, you'll kill like everybody yeah, you play against. Yeah, that's super good. Especially on Syndra. Yeah, on Syndra it's huge because you have so much range. You have, like your your arm goes out so far to get them. Right now, like your range is so huge, Aurelia can't get like any of these minions without getting punished. I think she might just be dead if you can hit her. No. Oh no, you're not six yet. Ah, uh, miss a Q and then ah, ah. Oh man. Disaster. Oh, man. I don't want to look at this. I think and I think you crashed. can kill her here. I think if this Q lands and she jumps in. 
and like everything lands here because you missed W two, so you missed two spells already. I think if you can on your next Q hit her and get level six. Okay, so everything goes to shit. But I think a kill exists. But yeah, it's it's a very precise kill for sure. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. So actually, kind of lost the lane here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Yeah, now you're trapped. And remember this feeling because you want to do this to other people. This feeling is how you how you how you begin to do this to other people. Is you feel like you can't do anything right now because you have you've missed some spells. You're low mana and you're getting pushed in. So you can use this feeling against other people all the time. Oh yeah. Cure, fuck. Still have mana flow, so you can cure slightly here. Yeah. I don't know, is it me or you? I mean, oh, it's probably me. What? Because you have Korean internet. It's lagging a lot. Okay, okay. For me. Uh, no, it's me, it's me, sorry. It's me. I can try to change the server. Give me uh, but we're, we... give, give me okay, okay, we're almost done. We have like 10 more minutes. We have to look through. Yeah, we can maybe change the server actually on the Discord. See if that's any better. In the video I send you, everything should look fine as well, so... My voice should turn out fine, and the video should turn out fine. Oh, are you there? Fuck, he's not there. <laughs> oh. Disaster. We only got through like two fucking bods. Actually, we talked about a lot. Hello? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, hello? Okay. Okay. It's fine now, it's fine now. Yeah, it's good. All right. We don't have a lot more to go through. We only have a few minutes. But I want to see something cool in the next few minutes of this one. Actually, is this game just farming? This is good. If you can crash this really fast, this is Rome. Rome. Rome top, probably, was Lee Sin. Yep. Herald or dive top. If you dive top, go through the enemy jungle. Mm -hmm. Okay, you just do Herald. Chill. Uh, just chilling. Uh, you should ward the enemy jungle, though. Oh, wait, is that your ward? That shouldn't be your ward. On the blue buff? You should ward the enemy camps. Warding it. Yeah, don't ward here. Don't ward here. No, this does nothing. Yeah. This does nothing. Ward the enemy yeah, camps. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Same way that warding river does nothing. Um, unless you can only ward river. When you have push like this, you have the opportunity to do like way more with your timing. So, mm -hmm. boarding enemy camps is really, really, really often, not all the time, really, really often more valuable um, than just like warding some entrances. Yeah. If I see that blue and gromp aren't up, I'm just not scared of the enemy jungler being topside, unless like somehow they're in my jungle. But a lot of times you can even see that with that ward. You can see that like they're pathing into top, but then you don't see them top. And then after a certain point, they have to be in my jungle. Okay, we'll watch this wave. Nothing happens. Disaster. Yeah, that should have been EQ at least. Okay, you can punish her now if she queues. Fuck. Mm -hmm. The Q should come right away. <laughs> it should come right away. Boom, Punisher. Q and then walk up W. Yeah. Because so this trade is cool because even though your E's on cooldown, it's it's going to come out. So you think right now, if I can get a trade that lasts six seconds, I'll kill her. Because you'll make it to your E and you'll be dealing damage all before your E comes up. So right when she Q's, you think, okay, five seconds of me fighting her. So I'm gonna Q, walk forward. W so I can slower play like really really aggressive and if I can just not die for five more seconds I'm going to QER and she'll die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is actually a solo kill setup 
Um, but you have to hit everything for it to work. And you have to not die in five seconds, so... This is like a possible, it's a solo kill, like, question. Oh my fucking god, Lisa actually killed her. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'll watch it one more time. I think you can kill her, as long as you don't die in the six seconds that it takes for you to get the, the E out. Right now. Yeah, um, I think... Now, maybe Talia R's you. Uh, that's the only... I mean, probably solo kill is not possible, but I could have taken a good trade. Yeah. Well, I... You would say that like a solo kill is possible, but it relies on her mistake. It's probably just a good trade, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, if if she agrees to trade with you and you don't die in the five seconds, you will kill her. If she like trades yeah. all the way with you, but she probably won't. She probably just gets hit and then runs, which is fine, um, because you won't be able to kill. If she just runs, you won't be able to kill her because if you just chase her with your E, Talia will pop out and kill you. Uh, so it's probably just a good trade. But there is a there is a solo kill a if you fight. So yeah. you should be playing really I mean, aggressively. I don't lose anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't you don't have anything to really lose out on unless she unless you think she can kill you in those five seconds. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a win-win situation, basically. Yeah, a neutral positive. If it goes bad, it doesn't really yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't positive. really go bad. And if it goes good, you gain so much that you would always want to take decisions that look like this. Uh, I think that's all we can do though. We only got through like two and a half ish vods. Uh, yeah, you can ask questions if you have them now, but most people don't have questions, so... Um, I, I just tell them so to message you, me. What's up? Yeah, how would you go about, um, like, improving this shit? Yeah. So, like, like, I know what I have to do, but I'm not sure how to get there, you know? So, you should start and by watching... playing games, it's not good. Yes, yes, you can't just play games. You have to, like, think about stuff and practice stuff like really in, uh, like with focus so the first thing that you need to do is you have to fix parts of your uh, you, you have to fix your execution we talked about this a little bit earlier so you need to get to a point where you can just look at the opponent and you have to slow them down because we just watch games against these fucking cheater champions Yasuo, LeBlanc, and Aurelia and every time they dashed it was like your world ended like there was nothing for you to like fall back on when they dashed <laughs> So you have to watch them very closely. You have to get your eyes to just follow them around so that when they dash, it looks something. It looks like something that's measured. Like you knew all of the places they could dash and you knew the timings on which they could dash. So when you saw it, it was just something that happened. It wasn't, it wasn't this instant fucking transmission, fucking Dragon Ball Z, now they're behind you. Um, it, it, was yeah. a, it was something that you considered <laughs> beforehand. Yeah. So just yeah, yeah. get to a point where you can play lane normally, but you're just locked on your opponent. You're just looking at him the entire time. And it'll make your spacing better as well, because if you're constantly looking at where your opponent is, you're seeing how fast they're clicking, how close they're moving to you, when they want to go for last hits. These, this is all information that you have to like constantly gather, because your opponent is a huge variable um, that always changes. So things like what side the jungler is going to be on um, changes, but not nearly as often as your opponent's spacing um, or like when the minions are going to die. So these are sort of things you can think about beforehand, like what side I need to ward, what side I need to stand on, where do I think the jungler is. But like 90 mm -hmm. seconds like into the future, maybe it's the same thing. Maybe you're still doing the same thing. So you can get an idea of what you're going to do a lot earlier for those things so that you can get to the point where the only thing you have to think about in that moment when you're in the right pocket and you know where the jungler is likely to be and you have your ward just stare at your opponent and when he fucks up you kill him uh, if you can do that that's where you have to get first that's why with everybody i coach i talk about laning because if you can't win lane yeah. or there's things going wrong in lane uh it's the rest of the game is always going to feel like like pulling teeth because if you're like zero three what do you do like you fucking lose. It's really hard to play when you're 0-3. So let's get to a point where we're 3-0 so that we can actually talk about the game. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so if I'm going to have questions, I'm, I'm just going to message you, okay? Yeah, yeah, just message my Discord with any questions, okay? Yeah, yeah and I'll talk to you later. We'll, we'll right. do another one in a couple weeks. Just message me whenever you want to do it, basically, with more VODs or stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. All right, sounds okay, good. Okay, thank you. Yep, talk to you later. See ya. See ya.